Cheers folks and welcome to my channel and it's Alliance War number 12, the last war of season 6 and today we are meeting J11, the X-Men, who are constantly, almost every season, a master alliance, so also not an easy one, but at the same time, um, for us it's pretty clear we're going to end in the master bracket, there's no way up, there's no way down, so we can actually take it rather rather relaxed and actually everybody is happy that the season now is over well funnily enough sometimes um, actually when you are the most relaxed about those fights that's when you are actually performing the best um, and for the last war I'm back on path number one a pure cosmic champ Corvus with the Proxima Synergy there is a Stark Spider-Man mini-boss, so I hope to get True Strike because of that synergy, and then Hyperion because of the Poison Node on the way. As usual, a Poison Immune Champion um, out of the different options that I have. And for this fight, which we have today, the best option was Hyperion. Now, there's no um, champion on node number one, so going directly all the way to then node number 19, which is the first fight of the day, and is a mystic six-star undupe. Um, node number 19, a crit node, um, enhanced critical buffs, 40% more effective, enhanced crit rate and crit damage, and also critical hits cause power leak or have the chance to cause power leak and 125% extra attack extra health but only 44,000 health means that um, I should be able even though I have class disadvantage with Corvus Glaive to get down that champion within those 20 Glaive charges that I have and it turns out to be an Iron Fist perfect just have to make sure you parry stun perfectly um, not to get hit because of course Iron Fist does quite a bit of damage in case you let your guard down but I didn't and already there with the SB2 he is down and um, good warm-up fight on path number one with this Iron Fist and that was already it basically for my evening uh, I used up all my energy and then next morning I continue again on my poison node um, which, uh, again, besides inflicting poison and poison abilities being 40% more effective, has plus 250% attack and plus 150% health. And also power leak, which means every 25 seconds you are drained of all your power. And it's a 5-star science duplicate champion and turns out to be Hulk Ragnarok. Um... So what I do, I parry stun and I charge my Furies. And already here I got five Furies from one heavy. And then I incinerate. Using two special ones gives me seven incinerate charges with five Furies that I had at that stage. And boom, already he's down. That was really lucky. That was really quick. Um, but sometimes it, that's the way it goes. You get... All the fury charges that you wish for and you get all the incinerate charges that you wish for and then a hulk ragnarok rank 4 champion on that poison node is down in an instant and then i wanted to proceed to that tech champion um there on node number 26 because you know tech champions give that beautiful um tech mission to corvus glaive i just had to wait until i am unnoted and that happened here uh, and then it's still a bug because it looks like it's still noted, but it actually isn't. And it's again a rank 4 tech champion. And on this note, it got enhanced bleed, 200% uh, extra attack and health, and also enhanced criticals and optimist and pessimist. So above 75% health and below 25% health, this champion gains fury, armor up, and health steal. And I just won my mission with Corvus Glaive. That's the whole point of taking that fight. And it turns out even better to be a Ultron Labyrinth of Legends. Which means that he will eventually, after letting off Fire of the Special, evade. And once he evades, I use my Heavy and there I got my mission. So, two missions basically with 
one champion only tech mission and the evade mission and um, the evade mission of course comes in very very handy for later when I fight um, Stark Spider-Man and also there is a mutant champ on the Bane node which um, could be a nightcrawler so I was already now very well prepared for both of them which was perfect now on the next node <clears throat> which is node number 46 um, it's a power gain node so power gain by 100% and also um, optimist and outcast champion boost not so high only 175% extra attack, extra health, and it's a Mystic Champion, and a Mystic Champion on that note usually is either a Magic or a Mordo, and because I couldn't wait um, for my fellow teammate, I had to take it myself, and that's why I used an Invulnerability Boost and said, okay, let's just get that person, that opponent, um, up to Special 3 if I have to, and then I can take a special 3 with a vulnerability boost and um, actually don't take any damage at all. So what I did, I tried to get him here to actually it's a special 2. And then with my special, even though Moto was then at his special 3, I was able to get him down. So he didn't get actually a chance to fire off a special 3. But it's always as it is. When you use that invulnerability boost, then actually you don't really need it. Um, but rather safe than sorry and I really didn't want to use any potions or you know heal up on that on that path so I said okay in that case it's safer to take the invulnerability boost bringing me to the next note which is the famous special one note note number 49 um, special one buys and enhanced special one meaning it's unblockable and enhanced by 30 percent and also the usual um, attack and health boosts and also for this I use Corvus Glaive and it's perfect because it's an Iceman. Um, Iceman so I can't suffer or I don't suffer from the cold snap or I, you see the cold snap there but I don't take any damage from it um, because he's uh, Corvus is cold snap immune as long as I have my Glaive charges and then he fires off one special one that I evade uh, very successfully and then he already doesn't get to his next special one before I get him down and that gives me charge number three because that has now been a mutant champion so now I got tech mutant and evade and with three charges uh, that's a very good um, start for then the last two fights which I had to wait a bit until I had enough energy and here you see an undue mutant six star champion on that bane node um, which means that um, you, uh, when you hit uh, your opponent, you degenerate by 2.5% uh, of current health. So the more health you have, the more your opponent degenerates and vice versa. And after 10 seconds, that uh, Bane degeneration um, swaps to the other person. So because I have True Strike, I, the great thing is I can fight Nightcrawler as if he, uh, you know, was not able to evade at all uh, because you see how often his evade fails and then I wait until he has his Bane timer almost run out and I hit him again to make sure that I don't get the degeneration from the Bane on myself and then already it's enough with one special two because I have three charges three missions accomplished so even though he had 117,000 health he gets down very, very, very quickly. And then I continue to then the mini boss. And the mini boss, um, I fought a lot of times, uh, Stark Spider Man on that note this season. Um, and again, I have true strike from the start. So the note is, of course, he uh, is, uh, is a special two note, special two buys, and also enhanced special two, which means it's unblockable also and enhanced um, damage and plus 500% health and plus 200% attack and also it's a power gain note so again I have true strike from the beginning so from the beginning Stark Spider-Man cannot evade and that's a great advantage to have here and then I just parry stun him I get him to his special one. I actually let him fire off his special one because, as I said a couple of times also in previous videos, they always fire off their special one. And then, actually, I don't even have to wait uh, for the next round because I just even get him um, with the next five combo and then I have a special one and that's already enough. So, 
15 hits plus one special one enough to get down a rank four Spider-Man, Stark Spider-Man on that mini boss node. And that was my last fight of this season. It was a very sweet ending to the season because we won this war number 12. And um, I think overall still a very, very successful season. It was a bit unfortunate, I have to say, those two wars that we lost so, 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 so close. Um, if we would, if we had won those two wars, we would probably now be at number one position. So you see how 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 close it is there up there. Um, it can really just tip from one death to the other uh, between a top three position or even a top one position and um, master bracket. But that's life. That's how it is. And I'm still very very happy that we end the season in masters, and it will give some sweet rewards, hopefully tomorrow, and then we will try to. Relax a bit during off-season, which hopefully is a bit longer than the last off-season, and um, prepare for the next season and hope then to be back in top three again. And uh, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you are completely new to the channel and would like to see more war videos in season seven, then hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see all of you very, very, very soon on my channel. Cheers, folks.